Welcome to this PALMS demonstration video. We are going to show you how to measure the weather by making your own rain gauge and wind vane. A scientist who studies the weather is called a meteorologist. They use all sorts of different instruments to look at different parts of the weather like temperature, humidity, rainfall and wind direction. They also try and predict what the weather is going to be like in the future. And to do this, they sometimes use things like a satellite. We're going to show you two very simple instruments to measure the weather yourself. We're going to show you how to make a wind vane, which is sometimes called a weather vane instead, and also a rain gauge. You might need a little bit of help to do some of these, so perhaps find an adult before you get started. We're going to show you how to make a wind vane first, and you'll need the following equipment. You'll need a small cup or bottle, around 50 mils in size, but a little larger is fine also. You'll need some clean sand, half a straw, a bamboo skewer, some cardboard or plastic to cut out an arrow with the point smaller than the tail. You'll also need a picture of compass points, a compass or a compass phone app, some tape and some scissors. The first thing you need to do is to cut out the arrow so it looks like the blue one in the bottom left of our photo here. To make your wind vane, first of all fill the cup or bottle with sand and then take the half straw and push it into the sand in the centre so it's standing up straight. This will be the weighted base of the weather vane so it won't tip over. Next, attach the arrow to one end of the skewer. You need to make sure that the skewer is in the centre of the arrow and then use just a small amount of sticky tape to attach it. Then you can put the skewer into the straw that's already in the sand. Your wind vane is now ready to use. First thing you need to do is to make sure that your picture of the compass points lines up with the actual compass points. So use the compass or a phone app to do this. You might need some help with this. Then place the cup on the picture. When the wind blows, the arrow will point in the direction that the wind is blowing. The second instrument we're going to show you how to make is a rain gauge. You'll need the following equipment. A small empty pet bottle that is clean. Something like a soft drink bottle or a water bottle is perfect. Electrical or masking tape. Some scissors or a craft knife. Marbles or pebbles. And a ruler. You'll definitely need some adult help with the next part. Carefully cut the top of the bottle off using the scissors or a craft knife, about one third of the way down from the lid. Put some tape on the sharp edges and then discard the lid as you don't need this. To finish off your rain gauge, put the marbles or pebbles in the bottom of the bottle to weigh it down. Then take the top of the bottle that you cut off, turn it upside down and put it into the other part of the bottle so it acts like a funnel. This will also stop any small animals from falling into your rain gauge. Place it outside, away from any reticulation. You may even like to bury it into the ground a little bit. Another thing you might like to try with the design of your rain gauge is to measure and draw a scale on the bottle using a texture. Remember to start from the bottom. Now your rain gauge is ready to use. At the same time each day, measure how much rain is collected. Make sure you empty the rain gauge after the measurement and place it back in the same spot. You can either measure the amount of water collected using a ruler or by reading from the scale that you might have drawn on your rain gauge. The instruments that we've showed you how to make in this video are really simple and we know that they won't give very accurate measurements. If you were a meteorologist, you would use a much more complicated instrument. Can you think how you might be able to improve the design so you could get more accurate measurements? Now that you've had a try at measuring the weather, here's a few more things you might like to do. You could record the wind direction and rainfall for a week or more and see what it looks like. Perhaps you could use a thermometer to also measure the temperature outside. You could draw a picture of your weather station, making sure that you label all of the parts. See if your rainfall measurement is the same as the weather report on the news, remembering what we said about the accuracy of these homemade instruments. Try drawing a graph of the rainfall in your area, maybe over a month or so. Find out more about the history of measuring the weather. It's pretty interesting. You could also try and find out some more about how meteorologists predict the weather. Also, find out more about the water cycle. Thanks for watching this PALMS demonstration video. 
For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, have a look at our website, palms.edu.au.